Electronic Arts officially came out and said that the next gen version of Madden 21 would be dropping on December 4th. Now I made a video a few days ago talking about how the next gen version of Madden would be delayed and that it would not be a launch title when the new systems dropped. And pretty much everything pointed to that being the case, but for months we assumed that it would be a launch title and since EA never stepped in and said anything we just thought hey this is a pretty safe bet especially when you consider the fact that 2k21 is dropping at launch and they dropped on current gen about a week after Madden and also the fact that EA is doing dual entitlement meaning that if you bought the game on current gen you would get it free to upgrade on next gen so we all assumed well if you're doing all this it, it must be a launch title and a lot of their previous maddens were launch titles on the next gen this year they're dropping about a month after but why is this happening what is the reason behind it a lot of people have thoughts i've been poking around and i've got five reasons as to why the next gen version of madden is delayed or maybe not delayed because you know they really never gave a release date but why it's coming out later than expected now, if you are new to the channel and you want to stay up to date on videos like this about Madden tips, updates, make sure to subscribe, turn on the bell icon so that you never miss any of these important uploads when they go live. Now, number one on the list is the most obvious thing, but it's something that I definitely want to talk about a little bit and give my thoughts on it. And that is that the game is just simply not ready. Now, you could say that about pretty much any Madden that's launched recently, right? The game was launched in a poor state. It wasn't ready. There was tons of bugs, tons of issues, right? Why are they putting out an unfinished product is kind of a normal sentiment towards the game over the past, you know, three, four, five or so years. Well, the same looks to be true with the next gen version. It's simply not ready yet, but I don't think that that's necessarily a bad thing. I see kind of some mixed thoughts on this some people think this is horrible how can it not be ready what have you guys been doing you know why are you so delayed why are you lazy and then there's the other side of people that's saying well hey if it's not ready i would rather them get it into a state that is ready before they release it i would rather it release in a better state right it's kind of two schools of thought here i'm more on the side of yes i would rather you not put it out if it's not ready but i do understand because i'm frustrated as well as well why isn't it ready well we're going to talk about some of the reasons why it's not ready in, in the rest of this list because some of these things affect that. But simply put, it's obviously not ready or they would be dropping it at launch. Why wouldn't they? They would only stand to make more money by doing that because, number one, there's tons of people who did not buy it on current gen and just said, I'm just waiting for next gen. There's a lot of people that are going to jump over to the next gen version. Obviously, there's microtransactions. They're going to spend more money, all of that good stuff right? There's no reason for them to delay it if it's ready. It's just simply not. But I think if it's not ready, I would rather them take that extra three weeks to a month and get it into a better state. If EA could somehow come out and say, you know, not guarantee because you really can't guarantee this, but if they could come out and say, look, the next gen version, because we're taking a little bit more time, it's going to be, you know, one of the least buggiest Maddens you've seen over the last few years. It's going to be a lot more polished, a lot more ready to go. There's not going to be a lot of things that need to be fixed. Obviously, every game is going to have its issues no matter how good it is. But if they could come out and say that, I don't think people would be mad at the delay. But the problem is, number one, with EA, they might delay it and there still might be tons of problems. Or number two, if they were to come out and say that and it wound up not being true, people would obviously destroy them over it, rightfully so. So they're not going to come out and say that. But I'm okay with them taking a little bit more time if it means the game comes out much more polished than we've seen on current gen over the last few years. Number two on the list, they are redoing some things. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, take a look at what happened before the current gen version of Madden 21 launched, right? When the fixed Madden franchise went crazy and people were losing their minds because they just completely neglected franchise mode and just other little aspects of the game. So much so that EA had to get, you know, one of their leaders to come out and say, look, we know we kind of messed up, you know, in so many words, that's what they said. And hey, we're going to fix it. And then they've been putting out these blogs saying, look, we're going to make these updates this year. And this is even what we're looking to do for Madden 22. I think this could hold true for next gen too, right? Because if they release the next gen version of the game and it's still has no updates to let's say the franchise mode right because remember this the first wave of updates for franchise mode is dropping in november which we're two days or three days away from november now it could drop at any point in november it could be the first week second week third week we don't know but we know regardless within the next month franchise is getting its first wave of updates for this year and that's kind of in the time frame where the next gen version is supposed to drop so potentially the thing that they're redoing mid-year for current gen, they're probably having to redo that now for next gen, which wasn't initially planned because they thought like always, well, we can just brush over certain things in the game and people are going to buy it and not say anything. 
Well, that's not been the case this year. People have been saying a lot of things. People have been hashtagging a lot of stuff and they've had to kind of, you know, backpedal a little bit and change course. And they're doing things that weren't intentionally planned for current gen and probably for next gen too. So with them redoing things, uh, I don't think that's a bad thing either. I think that if we get a better game and it comes out three weeks to a month later because they had to redo certain parts of the game, that's a good thing. They could also be potentially rebuilding certain other aspects of the game. That is a rumor I've heard from multiple people who are usually in the know that it's not going to be the same as current gen, which would be kind of a big change for Madden because usually it is the same. Uh, they're saying that there's going to be certain things that are much different. It's going to be a different experience. So, you know, if all those things are true, I'm okay with the delay, but those things have to actually hold true. If it, if it just seems like the same game with the same problems, that's where we're going to get into a territory where like, well, why did you even delay it if, if nothing is really different? And that brings me to number three on the list. It's not a direct port, which would be a huge thing for Madden because we know that every time Madden kind of jumps to the next gen, it seems like a direct port. Sure, it always looks better because that just comes with going to a better system. The graphics are going to be better and things like that. Load times, you know, be a little bit better. But usually it's a direct port, right? It's the same game. Sometimes it's actually less, right? It's, it's a direct port, but with stuff removed. I mean, you look at Madden 06 going to next gen on the you know xbox 360 worst madden of all time right and then you look at madden i think it was 25 when it jumped to next gen it was a little bit different but not much different it was basically just a port this year it it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case this year now we could be wrong and this again if this was the case if it, if it wasn't a direct port i think people would be more happy with that because they'll feel like there's actually a reason to go get the next gen system or to get the next gen version of the game because it is a different experience so we have to see if that holds true but from what i've been hearing it sounds like it's not going to actually be a direct port but at the same time when you think of the fact that they're letting you upgrade it for free that kind of creates the narrative that it is going to be a direct port and it's not going to be much different because if they're letting you upgrade for free and they're not double charging you which is something you would expect a lot of these game companies to do because they love their money maybe they know that because it's going to be the same experience if they were to charge again for it they would re receive crazy backlash so you can kind of look at the the free thing both ways here right it, it, it could be the same game but then a lot of what we're hearing is that it's not the same game so again we have to wait and see when it comes out but that could be a reason that it is delayed number four on the list the current gen issues of the game might be slowing down the progress now i've heard that a lot of the big dogs are, have been long on to next gen right and that's part of the reason that current gen has been having so many problems and that the updates have been you know so many coming out and a lot of them aren't really fixing anything or rarely fixing anything but the fact is with all the issues that current gen has that is definitely affecting the the workflow of of next gen because you probably have people like clint you know the big dogs of the world in in, in the madden world that have to probably jump back and forth a little bit because there's so much problems going on with current gen you know if there's some going on with the current gen version of the game you know at certain points you probably have to communicate that with guys like clint and you know get their approval for things and have them look at stuff so that's probably slowing down the process and that really isn't you know anybody's fault but ea's you know because they're the reason that the current gen version is like this and when you think of the fact that they were having to build two separate games if it is not a direct port which it doesn't look like it's going to completely be you can see why the current gen might have been just kind of left by the wayside which it looked like it was just this is a kind of the beta test for next gen that's what i said like over a month ago current gen feels like a beta test for next gen and that might be true and while that is true you know it's still holding back the next gen progress and that's probably why it's coming out a little bit later and number five on the list is more of just a question was this game even intended to drop at launch of the new consoles this is something i mentioned earlier in the video they never actually gave a release date but we all just assumed, hey, this was going to be a launch title because usually it is. We see NBA 2K, a game, you know, they move with NBA 2K, even though they're different sports, right? They're still sports games and they kind of most sports games move in, in similar patterns, right? And you really want to drop them at launch. And they said they had dual entitlement. So, of course, we all assumed, well, bam, this is the day those systems come out, we're going to be able to upgrade for free. But it looks like that's not actually the case. Now, here's the one thing I will say, right? Yes, as consumers, as gamers, we're going to assume. We, that's all we do. We assume. We try to piece things together. That's our fault. Okay, that's on us for assuming. On the other end, though, with a company, by them not saying anything, at a certain point, you know, 
you can be lying by omission, right? By waiting till the last minute to say something, right? We're a couple weeks away from these consoles and they're just now saying, hey, it's coming December 4th. You know, we know y'all probably assumed it was coming at the launch, but it's actually coming, you know, a little bit later. It's not coming too much later, so I'm not mad about that. Like I said in my previous video, if they drop this in like January or February, that'd be a problem. I said as long as it's out by Christmas, I don't think that's too big of a deal. And it's actually coming early December. So again, if it comes early and it doesn't have issues, I think most of us would be okay with that. But the fact that they waited this long to say something and didn't say this much earlier... I think, you know, still has kind of a bad taste in some people's mouths, but I'm starting to think maybe this wasn't even ever intended for launch, or maybe it was, but they didn't know for sure if they could get it done in time, so they just kind of kept quiet and, like, let the process go and just see, like, where they were, and now realizing at this point, okay, it definitely can't be ready for launch, now we have to say something, but those are just my thoughts from poking around and talking to some people, let me know what you think below, and as always, I will see you guys next time.